Breaking now, new reporting out of Iraq that multiple rockets struck Baghdad's green zone. That's where the U.S. Embassy is located, as well as an Iraqi air base just north of the city where U.S.-led coalition forces are stationed. Iraq and U.S. officials say no casualties reported yet at this time. Benjamin Hall joins us from Amman, Jordan, with the latest on this developing story. Ben? Yeah, hi, Gillian. And just in the last hour, we're also hearing that a Hezbollah commander has said his forces are going to start targeting U.S. bases in Iraq on Sunday evening. We don't know who's responsible for the rockets in the last hour or so, but the strong suspicion is it is also Iranian-backed militias here. Luckily, no one hurt there. Uh, all this, of course, coming after funerals have been seen here in Iraq for Qasem Soleimani, as well as the other people who were killed in that attack the other day. And with those funerals, we heard these chants repeated, death to America. America. America is the great Satan again and again. There really is anger brewing here among his supporters, and they expect revenge. Significantly, that funeral was attended by Iraqi Prime Minister Abdul Mahdi. He has heavily criticized the attack that killed Qasem Soleimani. And tomorrow, as a result of that attack, the Iraqi parliament are going to meet to discuss the future of U.S. troops in Iraq. There are some suggestions that, as a result, Parliament could expel the 5,000 plus U.S. soldiers who are here. In Iran, everyone is talking about retaliation, when and where. On a visit to Qasem Soleimani's house, Prime Minister Rouhani promised his daughter they would take revenge, they would spill blood. Iran has also said they have 35 targets ready. And other suggestions are that there may be attacks on ships in the Gulf and perhaps attacks on Israel. Amid these tensions, the U.S. has now scaled back operations in Iraq to, quote, boast security, boost security and defensive measures at bases and embassies. They've also dispatched another 3,000 troops to Kuwait as a precaution. From a U.S. perspective, one official has said that there will be no more U.S. strikes. They are not expected here in Iraq unless Iran does something that warrants it. The big question, though, is what does Iran do to retaliate? There is one line of thinking that Iran has spent the last 10, 15 years building up their sphere of influence in the region, becoming a real player here. And they're not going to throw that away in a military confrontation with the U.S. that they cannot win. Instead, they're looking to, to, for some kind of action which will allow them to save face, bloody the nose of the U.S., but not invite a full-scale military military response. What that is, when that is, we simply don't know. But the ball firmly at this point in Iran's court, waiting for their move. Gillian? Benjamin Hall with some great analysis at the end of that piece for us. Benjamin, thanks for all your great reporting.